there's a lot of good options out there for offensive coordinator that Arkansas could have hired. Guys that probably could have turned this offense around, but I don't know of anybody that could have struck a nerve in Razorback fans and touched the heart and soul of Hog fans like Bobby Petrino. What's up, everybody? This is Trey Biddy with hogsports.com coming to you from the fountain, the north end zone, the pit right outside Donald W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium. Had to come out here and do that for this occasion. Everywhere I look, everywhere I you know, listen to radio, watch people's faces and stuff, everybody seems to have a grin, a little more pep in their step. This is a momentum off-season move on a day, by the way, that Arkansas announces its new NIL program, the Arkansas Edge NIL Collective. By design, possibly. Um, this is a big move. And like you talk about the question I asked Sam Pittman that he kind of misunderstood when I was asking it at the press conference about what do you do to generate the momentum, you know, after this last game, after the way the season has gone, things like this, first of all, and let's maybe make a few splashes in the transfer portal. And so, guys, first of all, let's talk about Bobby Petrino. I mean, I never would have thought it was happening. You can go back to the timeline of how this started for me. I mean, you told me earlier in the week that something like this would happen. I never would have believed you. But yesterday, on Monday, I got a phone call. Hey, Bobby Petrino is going to be in town. You better, you better check into it. So I started looking around. It's not something you just report on one source. You get double verification on something like that. Wasn't able to do that. Kind of teased it a little bit on Drive Time Sports that, you know, maybe Bobby Petrino's name could be in the mix. And uh, yeah, today after Pete Thamel put it out there, I mean, it's a, that's a pretty reputable uh, guy to put something out. Then stuff started really coming in. And um, what big news, what big news for Arkansas and a bold, bold move. And I, from a media standpoint, just from like a professional standpoint, I wasn't looking forward to this offseason and just, you know, just kind of the toxicity that we're in right now with having a losing season, people being real down on the program, you know, people wanting change and stuff like that. These are the kinds of moves that Sam Pittman, Hunter Yurichek needed to make. And now let's go make a splash in the portal. Talking to Danny West earlier, recruits are, are super excited. I've had one recruit parents, you know, hit me up. Is this true? Is it Bobby Petrino? Um, this is, this is a splash hire, and especially for Arkansas fans, because the way Arkansas fans remember Bobby Petrino, I mean, in 2010, they had the second best offense in the SEC. In 2011, it was the best offense in the SEC. And then, you know, it all kind of came crashing down, and Arkansas just hasn't recovered since then. So maybe this is the full circle type of moment for Arkansas. Wouldn't that be nice? Now, there's plenty of others, I mean, like, Guys, we got to talk about what's coming. It's not just this Bobby Petrino hire, which I think is a, is a solid move. I don't know that there's another thing that could have like brought the energy back to the fan base the way it has just in an instant. And to be clear, at the time of this that I'm doing this, and I don't know, it's not official. The deal is being done. It's in the works. Nothing has been signed yet. So it's important to make that clear. The transfer portal. And Sam Pittman seems excited about NIL. And, you know, there's already been some entries into the portal, not officially into the portal because it doesn't open until December 4th, but there's been announcements. And, you know, it's a 30-day window, but people can announce anytime they want. So it's obviously important to note. But there's going to be guys that you lose. I know of a couple more players that are going to, going to leave Arkansas. I know of a couple more that are that are definitely coming back to Arkansas. Good players too. I'm not just talking about average players, and um, you know that's just kind of the industry that it is now. You 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 have to get you have to get good players. It's all about the good players, and then filling your roster in. You know, and that's just kind of the cutthroat nature of college football now. But you're going to have to pick battles because you don't have just a bottomless pit of funds, and you're going to have to you know you're going to lose some guys, some good players, and it's happening all around the country, and it's going to continue to happen at Arkansas. And in the meantime. They're going to have other players that are that are quality players come back. And for Arkansas, they need starters to come back. They need starting quality players. They need freshmen, and, you know, guys that are still cooking to come back to Arkansas. And uh, they need to bring other guys. But we're not at that point yet. We still got a few couple weeks before you start seeing the comings. Uh, you know, right now you're just getting mostly goings and some guys saying, "Hey, I'm sticking around. I'm I'm going to see this thing through." Uh, but it was kind of last year. We learned a lot last year about, you know, freaking out with the transfer portal. You had, you know, a couple of dozen players from Arkansas leave. You had 18 players come back in. I think that they ended up with a better team overall personnel-wise. Now the record didn't indicate that. And, you know, just because Bobby Petrino, going back to that, just because he 
is an offensive mastermind, it doesn't mean the entire offense is, is fixed. They still got to fix the offensive line. They still have major issues up there. They got to fix it through the transfer portal. And, you know, just coaching some of these young guys, getting them better. You know, Patrick Kudis and Andrew Chambly are guys with talent. They were just forced into it way before they were ready. Uh, but there's a lot of things that they've got to fix up front on the offensive line. I always think about this too, 2011, Tyler Wilson. How tough was Tyler Wilson? How do we know he was tough? because he was getting the crap knocked out of him over and over again. And to me, as far as like 10 type win teams, that team won 11 games, you know, that's probably one of the, I don't want to disparage that offensive line, but it wasn't a great offensive line. Let's just say that. It just wasn't a very good offensive line. And for them to have the season that they had that year uh, in that offense with Wilson at quarterback, I thought was pretty, pretty remarkable. So. Get the offensive line fixed, make some splashes in the transfer portal. I know recruits are really excited just from talking to Danny West, so that's big. Um, I know former players are excited. I've had former players, players that played in the Petrino era already hit me up talking about uh, you know what type of guy he is, how much they love him, even though they they feared him at the same time. There's a certain you know respect level. So, you know, I thought Randy Rainwater today on drive time made a good point about Pittman and his offensive line background and maybe allowing him to focus more on the offensive line, getting that short up. And let's talk about this with Pittman too. Pittman identified the problems that Arkansas had on defense. And yeah, there was some letting go of the rope last, you know, at the end of the season. And you know, you see 48 points against Missouri. They also had five turnovers on offense. But there was some letting go of the rope by the defense and stuff at the end of the year, which is expected when you're in this type of situation. But the defense made drastic improvements last year and this defensive staff can really recruit and that's a credit to Pittman for putting that group together he messed it up on offense he didn't identify the offensive line keep this defense together make some splash moves in the transfer portal I think you'll see some good players come back on defense also and uh, fix the offensive line they're going to put up some points on offense they're not just going to have this stagnant like what the heck's going on on offense type of offense now it's not going to be perfect all the time we know that we remember the good things about bobby petrino there were times where you know things didn't work out that great i can remember the first year he got here and you know the offense took a while to get going so hopefully that doesn't happen in this case but uh this is a move that i think arkansas fans can get behind and kind of change this just kind of turn that wheel turn that momentum around a little bit I mean, it certainly, it certainly does that for me in a lot of ways because, you know, I mentioned just, you know, I'm living in it, you know, covering a four and eight team, and that's not even close to what, you know, Pittman and players and, you know, Juracek and stuff go through. Um, but just kind of living in that, I don't, I'm a, I'm generally a positive person, right? I like, I like when Arkansas wins football games. I like covering a winning team. I hadn't got to do it a whole lot. I want Sam Pittman to succeed here. I don't think this is a bad decision to bring Bobby Petrino in as offensive coordinator. And, you know, Petrino kind of did his, you know, apology to her. You know, I, I thought he was very sincere in that. And what's, be what's best for Arkansas football, having a guy like Bobby Petrino calling plays or not, right? And I think that's a guy that, that Pittman can lean on. I think his personality, um, you know, will bring a good mix with this team. So... Yeah, I feel, I feel pretty good about, about that decision. It's not the only decision that needs to be made, and not everybody's going to like that decision. You may not like that decision, and I can certainly understand that, and you certainly have the right to your opinion, and you may be right. It may, it may end up being a disaster. Who knows? We don't know. I mean, we felt pretty good about this season, you know, going into it based on the personnel that they brought in through NIL and stuff, and it didn't work out. I, again, I, I place a large amount of that on the struggles that they have with the offensive line. So we're going to see more players enter the transfer portal. There's going to be more meltdowns. It's going to be, you know, freaking out and, you know, what's going on up there. But Arkansas has to choose their battles in NIL. And you've got to pay big money to some players and other players you just, you just don't. <laughs> and that's the way it works. If you're just an average player in the SEC, you're, you're just not going to make a lot of money. If you're a good player, you're going to make a lot of money. Even the numbers that I outlined last year are obsolete. I mean, the numbers have gone up so, so much. I mean, you're talking about like position players making a quarter million dollars who are, you know, just, you know, pretty solid, good players, good competitive players who are, you know, you can rely on those types of guys. That's a lot of money. I mean, a lot of money. 
I mean, last year I felt like that number was like 100,000. You're a big-time quarterback. You know, you're talking close to a million dollars, maybe even more at the right school. So we'll see what shakes out, what Arkansas needs to do at the transfer portal, bring in offensive linemen. They could probably use some more skill at wide receiver. I think they've got some good young talent on the team. Bringing back the guys, you know, who are left are also possibilities. I think, you know, depending on what K.J. Jefferson does, if K.J. Jefferson leaves, then, uh, which I kind of thought, you know, he's kind of had in his head, they need to bring somebody in to compete with Jacoby Criswell. They can't just be like Jacoby Criswell or Malachi Singleton. Those are our guys. They need to bring somebody in to compete with those players and push them. And I always point to what Ole Miss did, you know, with Jackson Dart. They brought in two quarterbacks, a four-star top 100 prospect uh, from LSU and, um, and brought in Spencer Sanders from Oklahoma State. And what happened? You got a lot better quarterback in Jackson Dart. So bring in guys to compete. Keep the starting offensive line. Keep them here if you can. And, it, you know, I think Bo Lemmer may end up going uh, East-West Shrine Bowl. That, that doesn't mean anything's official yet, but you need to keep your best players on campus. It doesn't need to be like, get these guys out of here. That's not what this is about at all. Keep your best players, bring in guys to compete with them. And pick your battles in NIL. Some battles you're going to have to just choose not to fight. That's just the way it is nowadays because it's not a bottomless pit. It does seem like things are going to get better with the Arkansas Edge NIL Collective. Um, you know, an outside third-party company, we reported on it yesterday, um, not specifically Arkansas Edge, but that Arkansas, one Arkansas was going to go to, you know, a third-party company to, to manage things. And I think that's a good decision, somebody, because one Arkansas just wasn't, it wasn't very clear on, you know, what you were getting into, where your money's going, you know, ease of donation, the website layout, all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be a be much better move for Arkansas football. I don't think there's any question about that. Feel good about it? Sure. Let's go. Let's go. I can handle this offseason. I can handle energy like that, this in this offseason. Let's get you a look at the Fred W. Smith Center. It's so pretty when it's lit up. A lot of people don't even get to see it when it's lit up. So we'll walk you down here. What else is there to talk about? Arkansas Duke basketball. Will this, will this deal with Petrino be done by then? If it is, does he get announced at the Duke basketball game? That place is going to be wild. So, ultimately, I think it's a positive move for Arkansas to do this at this time. Get some momentum behind the program. I, I can't wait to hear the story of how it all broke down, how, how it happened, how they arrived at Bobby Petrino. You know, when was the moment when it happened? You know, I'll say this about Petrino, too. Like, there's always, you know, there's, like, his reputation precedes him in a lot of ways. But, like, my experience with Petrino, what I would always say about the guy, you can go back to my Twitter mentions and all that kind of stuff and look, he always showed up on time. If it was a 12 o'clock press conference, he walked through the door at 11.59. And I don't mean just, like, sometimes, but, like, every single time. I remember we would get, like, a – he go – Fred Smith Center. I remember we would get like a spring practice schedule and he wouldn't deviate from it all. So he's going to bring a certain attitude to Arkansas, bring it to the offense. And, uh, you know, you got Pittman, who I think is, I think, I think he's, I think he's going to mesh well. I really do. And Travis Williams, I think it's going to be a good mix for Arkansas. Now, do I think they're going to win every game next year and every, all the problems are solved? No, I don't think that. Uh, but do I think that they're on the path of solving problems with this hire? Yeah, and I think there were some other coordinators they could have gone out and gotten, obviously, uh, that would have made a big impact. But as far as the way Razorback fans feel about Petrino and you know how everything went down all so suddenly 10 years ago, it's not the worst decision they could have made. I certainly feel a certain way about it, and I think you probably do too. All right, so what else we got? Hawk Sports until 11 o'clock tonight is 75% off, so that's $26.84 for the entire year at hawgsports.com. So sign up, follow all this transfer portal stuff with us, follow all the, uh, you know, the coaching search news of Bobby Petrino as that unfolds. Again, not official, not signed on the dotted line, but all indications are this is where we're headed.
All right, everybody, we're going to wrap it up here. Sign up at Hog Sports, 75% off till 11 tonight. It's Tuesday, 11, 28, 23, 11 p.m. Central Time. HAWGsports.com breaks down to seven cents a day, 52 cents a week, $2.84 for the month. It's a pretty good deal. All right, everybody, I'm going to go look for my missing glove. This has been Trey Biddy with Hogsports.com. We'll catch you next time.